Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the MLG DC Finals Grand Finals between Hydra the Zerg and select the Terran. If you guys have been following my channel so far, we know that so f that we've been following Hydra and the Protoss Huck on their way to glory. Hydra and Huck has both were both victors and winners and faced each other in the winner brackets final, where Hydra came on top, and so Huck was sent into the finals of the loser brackets where he faced Select. There he lost his first game, and in the second game he decided to please the crowd and go with the mothership uh, build. The mothership build was fairly decent, but Select just, well, won the match. I don't know if you could say won the crowd, but he won the match. And some people might say that that's all that counts, winning the match. So now we have the grand finals of the MLG between Hydra and Select, and you can tell by my tone who I'm rooting for. <laughs> Even though I play Terran, and even though I hate Zerg, I'm rooting for Hydra, but we'll see. If my voice seems off, I'm sorry, I've just come off a 16-hour day, followed by a 3-hour raid in World of Warcraft, and now I'm finally getting up to recording these to the replays, and finally showing you the end of MLG. So, the scout for Select is moving out here, and thanks to this overlord, he is gonna know that Hydra is on top uh, on the 12 o'clock. Hydra already securing his expansion. The overlord is slowly, slowly, slowly gonna find Select, but by that time, Select will have walled in. But and select is gonna come in here and gonna see that standard either play where he got the 13 hatch and 16 pool, and we'll see what these two players, these great great players, decide to go to. Either securing himself an extractor, this ACV just running around here checking for any kind of strange beings, and now just deciding, hey, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna watch the game, much like me. And as you can almost, uh, as you can probably tell, my voice is also shot. So we have a reactor on the way and a factory, which might mean that we're gonna have this factory go onto the reactor and get a few Hellions, and the Hellions will do some economical damage. And Hydra Scout has finally come into this space as well. This Overlord is still gonna be a while. And oh, very nice, very nice for Hydra, automatically stealing that gas. Which means that this gas is going to be delayed for silver uh, for select, and with, before select actually manages to get it, he will be a little bit behind in the gas. And as I said, there is the transitioning factory onto the reactor, which means that two Hellions are already on the way. We'll see how Ira deals with it. There is a spine crawler on the way who will defend the base and the ramp. However, hey, Hellions are fast. They might decide to do a run-in. And Ira deciding not to do the cancel and build it up some more, but just getting this extractor and keeping it up. It has 500 health. At, um, 500 health. So, hey, it's gonna be here. There's one Marine coming out, the Hellions are already deciding to advance, and the Marine is gonna start slowly shooting out that poor, poor little uh, extractor. However, this extractor is giving Hydra vision. If we look at, uh, if we look at, I want Hydra's vision, there we go, we can see Hydra's vision just a little. Now, back, meanwhile, we're gonna have exactly what I said that run by, but oh, very nice play from these two Zerglings blocking off the ramp, and the Spine Crawler and the Queen are gonna be able to hold this off. Are there more Hellions on the way? Let's check out the production tab. No, we have a build into a starport. Where is that starport even being built? Very nice, a little bit far away. So in case a overlord comes in from this side, it's going to be a while until this starport gets discovered. And we already have a medevac. So this medevac is not going to do that much. I suppose the medevac is going to just take these and drop them into the main. But this all depends on the timing because once Hydra secures that layer tech, we're going to see some build an army from him and um, we're gonna see some build from army from him you gotta love casting when you're really really tired you just put spew out random words hey i'd like hellion overlord voodoo john explosion boom awesome well what i wanted to say is that uh, we're gonna see Ira macro up into a very nice unit composition that will put select in a bad position 
Hey, I said that entire phrase without actually taking a pause. Let's see, now we have this Hellion, these Hellions trying to destroy it. I creep tumor before it actually spreads. And now here we go. Mount up and move them out. And this uh, dropship is going to drop these uh, Hellions in here. And Hellions do a lot of damage to Zerglings and two drones and here comes the drones and here comes the zerglings and gonna take out one hellion and to gonna take out two hellions and now this little medevac is being chased down by the queens and the zerglings are carefully standing around here to make sure that there is not another drop and here comes the hellions all oh, burning on more zerglings and gonna try and burn up some more zerglings and here comes the surround and burning up some more zerglings and picked up drops picked up so very nice mic micro from both players let's check out that apm 252 and 160 hydra is doing fairly well and we have a thor on the way so yeah we're gonna have a thor drop again very nice play a very nice play from select i mean you can't take a you can't take anything away from him uh, but but this kind of play is again out of the build call out of the book called let's piss off hydra in my opinion a thor drop isn't exactly that that necessarily have a good strategy but hey we'll see what this Thor does because uh, on the other hand he does have quite a bit of marines here so marines might be able to oh and now sacrificing these hellions probably to secure room for that Thor and here we go the Thor's loaded up in the medevac I always love how these Thor's actually don't fit inside the medevacs even though two tanks are about the same size as the Thor uh, but two th Two tanks actually fit inside the medevac so we're gonna have a double drop marines and thor is gonna try and we'll see gonna probably try and secure this high land but very nice hydra getting vision with the overlords and spewing out some creep i think he's gonna see this drop coming but sadly there is not much he can do about it and there are two mirrors on the way three mirrors on the way with upgrades so uh, hydra is going ling mute up spine crawler repositioning and I uh, select needs to take out the spine crawler before it gets inside the base we have let's see that unit size we have nine meters nine meters in a magic box might be able to do enough to this Thor but however Marines are here to defend it because the Thor is just not practical against these uh, mutas now that the magic box is alive and I gotta say fix the goddamn magic box trick this unit the Thor was designed for anti-air and it's not anti-air and now uh, select realizes that it's not enough that Thor is gonna die and so are the marines there are a lot of mutas on the map so Hydra just plowing into that mutal link build if we look at the production tab we have uh, let's see we have eight, 11 mutas on the map two more on the way and 24 zerglings zerg flying attack level one so it's link muta all the way across the sky and we're gonna come in here and we're gonna take out these marines there is an expansion out and select just ggs because Ira knows he's won and so does select and that means Ira is up one yes i'll see you guys in game two